Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another holiday countdown video. In this tutorial, we are going to make a fun peekaboo Thanksgiving tumbler. I know a lot of people don't use tumblers for Thanksgiving because it's just one day and Halloween and Christmas kind of like take over Thanksgiving, but I got a lot of really cute Thanksgiving decals and I wanted to use them. So if you want to make a Thanksgiving tumbler for yourself or for your family, I think it's kind of fun to use a themed tumbler even if it's just for one day. So we're gonna do a peekaboo Thanksgiving tumbler today. I really hope you guys enjoy the video as always. Be sure to let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go. Starting with the 10 ounce stubby tumbler that I have already sanded and prepped, so we're ready for paint and glitter. I'm going to use my raw sienna acrylic paint here, and I'm actually going to use this as the adhesive for my glitter as well. As always, I'm using entirely too much paint. Please don't use that much. But basically what I'm going to do is squirt some of that on the tumbler, face paint that with my big fluffy brush, and go right into my glitter application. So I'm using Vintage from Peachy Olive Glitters. You can use any color you want. Um, but I'm just going to cover the entire tumbler with this glitter, let it dry for about an hour, and then we will get into sealing the glitter before we epoxy. Now Vintage is a chunkier cut of glitter, so it's really important that you seal it before epoxy. If you don't, you'll have a lot of work to do later on in your tumbler making process. The glitter could stand up and be pokey and rough, and you just don't want to have to deal with all of that sanding. So I recommend sealing your glitter always. It also just helps with your epoxy application too. So I'm taking a 50-50 mixture of the Crystalac glitter glue and water, and I'm using that to seal my glitter. And as you saw before I started sealing, I did roll my cup in my scrapbook paper just to push that glitter down a little bit further. Once that dried, I added two coats of epoxy to my tumbler, and now I'm ready to do my sanding and add my decals. First, I'm going to clean up the top rim of the cup. I'm going to get rid of all of the glitter and stuff up there and then I'm going to sand down this top rim really really well because we're doing a peekaboo you want to make sure that you sand that down and that that's totally smooth and that you're not going to sand down again and then have more issues with that glitter showing through on your top rim if that makes sense so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to place my turkey stencils here I will link this file for you in the description box so it comes with the like stencil portion and then the outline portion that we're gonna add later. So I just cut these at about maybe two inches wide and I'm adding five of them all around my tumbler, except obviously where my decal is gonna go. Once I have those down, I'm gonna take some little sparkly stencils and I'm gonna place those randomly all throughout the cup. I really just wanted to show some more glitter, add a little bit more peekaboo portion to this. This is totally optional, of course, but I just wanted to add a little extra something, something, you know? To paint over our peekaboo, I'm going to use pop of color paint. This color is rose quartz and it is beautiful. So I'm going to do two thin coats of this paint. In between each coat, I waited about 30 to 35 minutes. We really just want nice opaque coverage here. We are going to use a kind of like iridescent -y type glitter and we want to make sure that our paint is really well painted on so that we don't have any dark spots showing underneath our glitter. So to apply my glitter, I'm going to use the Southern Belle Glitter Foil Adhesive and I'm going to do a really thin layer of that all over the cup. I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes before I add my glitter. The glitter we're using is Iceberg from Peachy Olive Glitters. And we're going to do the kind of tack it method application. If you guys haven't noticed, I am obsessed with this application method lately. It is so nice and your glitter lays so flat and it's so easy to do so with a gloved hand we're just going to basically rub this glitter down until it lays flat 
and then we will get into peeling up all of our stencil vinyl. One thing that you should do that I didn't do in this video, but I typically will do, is take a Sharpie or a marker or something and mark off where your stencils are so that you can find them underneath your glitter. Luckily, this is a light colored glitter, so I was able to find the decals, but if you're using a different color glitter, you want to use either hot glue dots or a marker to mark off where those are so you can find them underneath your glitter and not have a horrible time peeling your stencils up. So after all of my stencils were peeled up, I added two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. I'm using the Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy and each coat was about 20 milliliters. All right, so we've got two coats of epoxy over the glitter on our tumbler. And what we're going to do is sand down just the top rim So you can see here, the top of our tumbler has been sanded down and is pretty smooth, but the remainder of our tumbler is glossy and that's what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do first is apply all of our outlines to our shapes and then we'll add our decal on top. For our outlines, I'm gonna use this black textured metallic vinyl. This is from TechRap Craft. And I've got my little turkeys here that are outlined and these are really delicate lines. So I'm gonna be super careful when I do this here. I'm gonna use my black grid transfer tape from TechRap Craft for this textured metallic vinyl. I find that it works the best, at least for me. If you wanna reverse weed like this, if you wanna apply the whole thing to your cup first, or if you wanna just weed it like normal and then put it on your cup, that's totally fine too. Whatever technique works best for you that you can do with the least amount of mistakes. <laughs> so I'll show them all to you in this video so you can see what each one looks like. And then you can decide on the best method or technique for you. Now the glasses are a little iffy. I think I'm gonna leave them like that so that they look like they're opaque. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we'll find our first turkey and we're going to apply this as lined up as possible. All right, so there's the first turkey. How cute is that? That looks pretty good, I think. We're going to make sure that it's stuck whoops, to the transfer tape. Here, we're going to cover this guy up. I feel like this way is a little bit harder to get everything lined up perfectly, but it is easier to weed. So then when you come in here, all of your lines are already stuck down to the cup. So these will weed up really nicely and you won't have to worry about your lines breaking or getting any little pieces lost. For this third little turkey, we're gonna just weed it the traditional way. And hopefully everything goes fine. Let's see, oh boy. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave his glasses that way for now because I think they look cooler without weeding them at all. All right, so now that we've got our turkeys on, we are going to outline our sparkles just like this. And I'm just gonna place these by hand. I think that's the easiest way. Just with my tweezers, just gonna take and place it 
right around that sparkle. And then I can save the inside sparkles for another project. So for our decal, we're actually going to use this UV DTF transfer. This is from the Vinyl Cottage. She did a Friendsgiving bundle that is available on the site now. So if you want to get this decal, you can buy the bundle and do this same design. It comes with a lot of really cute vinyl patterns and decals and everything. So I will link that down below for you. So what we're going to do is put this decal down right in this open space. I'm going to peel away the backing from this decal very carefully. And now this is a one shot thing. So we want to make sure that we get everything down the right way and that everything is as centered as we can get it. You can use your vinyl scraper if you want. We really want to make sure that this is adhered as good as we can get it and it went down fine right over the outlines probably didn't need to do the outlines but it gives the cup a little bit of cohesiveness and once we've got it down we're going to just very very carefully and slowly pull up this transfer paper to make sure that we don't rip our decal and make sure everything is stuck down Okay, so there's our decal. How cute is that? Now you can see a little bit of the sparkles like underneath it, but I think that's totally fine. It's just part of the background. Now this is totally optional too. If you want, you can take some of these little sparkles and you can use them to fill in some of that open space that we have. So now from here, I'm going to epoxy over this and we're just going to do that until it's smooth. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right. So that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know Thanksgiving cups aren't super popular, but I will absolutely be using this one on Thanksgiving and probably the entire month of November. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are not already. We've got lots of holiday countdown videos coming, so I don't want you to miss them. All right, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.